Just got back from seeing the Fall Guy, and although I went in with kind of tepid expectations, mainly because I saw the trailer for this thing 800 times before finally getting to see the final product, I have to say, cinema's back, baby. Before I jump headfirst into this review, I gotta talk to you about Storyiverse. They're back with another sponsored video. I appreciate them, and you should too, because what they got cooking over there is this. It's a beautiful app, free of charge. You can download it on the App Store, you can download it on Google Play. They're taking reading to another level with read watching. It's immersive, it's exciting, it's Storyiverse. What's really awesome about this app is it's written and animated by people that just want to make good stories. And us, the reader, benefits because we get unique stories each and every time with a different look, a different feel, but they all have that beautiful quality to them. I'm more of a visual learner, so when I do read a story, it is still tough for me, even if it is very specifically laid out, to get my mind wrapped around what's going on in the scene. So Storyiverse cuts all that out because I can visually get what's happening as I'm reading it. I wonder how large the scale this battle actually is. Well, now I don't need to wonder because I'm seeing a giant fleet of ships attacking, there's explosions, they're in the Sahara Desert. It's all right there. And again, Storyiverse completely free via the App Store or Google Play. Link will be in the description below this video. Couple housekeeping notes, the movie's PG-13. I don't think it really pushes that much. It stays well within its rights. It's a little over two hours long, which often I find concerning, but here, had no problem with the pace at all. And this is definitely a film to watch on the big screen. You get yourself some IMAX tickets for this one. The Fall Guys stars Ryan Gosling, AKA Baby Goose, and Emily Blunt. And if I could be Emily Blunt with you for a second, I want you to hit the subscribe button. It's not even a question at this point, it's a demand. I need you to hit it. I have to have you do it. Even liking the video and commenting would be great, but that's up to you. Subscribing to the channel, that's not negotiable. All right, let's begin with the spoiler-free review. The Fall Guy is by no means dabbling in science, but there's definitely some chemistry on display when it comes to these leads. Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling are effortlessly funny in these roles. She plays the director, this up-and-comer who's got her big break on this amazing sci-fi epic that's very similar to Dune, but definitely not Dune. And then you have Ryan Gosling, who's the stunt guy. He's one of the best in the business, or at least he was. Until a mishap costs him everything. He gets away from his fling with the director. He gets away from the profession entirely. That is until the profession comes crawling back to him. But it turns out repairing a relationship along with your career, not quite so easy. Especially when there's like 13 other plots going on in tandem. And that's definitely a major concern people are gonna have with the Fall Guy. Because although the relationship stuff works really well, and him coming back out of retirement, there's all these kind of smaller sequences that play into a bigger narrative that are definitely very sloppily handled. I, however, only cared a little bit about the mess. Around the halfway mark, the plot gets very convoluted, but we are living in a world where people have phones. So the fact that Colt is unable to really communicate with the director on what's actually taking place was very, very frustrating. Thankfully, because this movie is so loose, it's so funny, it's so action-packed, some of the missteps with the storyline did not bother me that much. I got over it. But I can totally see people not getting over it. I can see some of these things being a big sticking out problem. As a big movie buff, I loved this movie because it goes into some of the filmmaking process, it shows the stunts going on, how the director's working with the crew, and it's just so cool getting a behind the scenes, even if it is all pretend smoke and mirrors behind the scenes. It's just a neat little nerd thing that I really appreciated. Have I said how amazing Emily Blunt is yet? I'm not sure I have. She's amazing in this. And Ryan Gosling, again, he's just effortless all around. He doesn't really seem like he's trying to act. It's just coming out. <laughs> End of the day, you take all the convoluted plot points out, the explosions, the big set pieces, what do you have? You have at its core a really good relationship movie between these two characters. If you're invested in them and what they had going and what they could have going again, you're gonna be on board for the ride. 
I definitely was. They brought it to the table for me. From a production standpoint, it checks all the boxes. The music is freaking fire. You got some amazing set pieces, some great ass action, hand-to-hand -hand combat, sword fighting, gunplay, high-speed chase. It's all there. And there is even a moment where he gets kind of drugged out and he's tripping balls. This section of the film looked like a scene directly taken from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, complete with cool like anime style white flashes as he's beating guys up it looks great and i was really thinking back to pilgrim at that moment which is always a good thing this is a david leach film if you've seen atomic blonde if you've seen bullet train you kind of know what you're going to get in terms of style and substance i dug this movie i think this is one of his best films yet hopefully you agree again like comment, subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It's it's actually the only thing that helps the channel grow at the end of the day. Also, I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants. I'm talking, I'm laughing, I'm having a good time telling stories about really silly things. And I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Adam Does Movies. Hopefully I see you around.